It all starts before uh, Harvey ever made landfall, uh, getting prepared for the hurricane, sandbagging, securing doors, etc. All of that was done before anything else on, on Friday the 25th. Knowing that you're going to get hit by a storm, you have to have people in the building to operate it. So you just can't abandon it and then come back in a week later and say, oh, what happened? When it started moving toward Texas, we knew we were going to get some of it, to be either a direct hit or to be on the dirty side of the storm. And we ended up on the dirty side. When I opened the door, more water rushed in. And all of my stuff flew out. And like, it just kept coming in. All I could grab was my wallet and my phone. That's all I knew to grab. That was Hurricane Harvey. More rainfall dropped in the center of Houston than any other place in the country. It wasn't the wind, it was the water. 50,000 plus structures uh, were impacted. Some people lost everything. You have people literally that are emptying out their homes. There's more debris than at any time in our history. Well, this homestand has moved locations. We are not at Minute Maid Park in Houston. We are instead in Tropicana Field in St. Petersburg, Florida. Our guys were wanting to be back home because they were worried about their families, their neighbors, and their community. And so we reached out to the mayor's office. I encouraged them to play because young people need something to cheer for. The fact is you can't stay down forever. It is what Houston needed right at that moment. Let's play ball. Hello, Houston. It's good to be home. I want to start out by thanking all of you for being here today. A very special day for us to start the rebuild process of our great city. This storm really hit our entire fan base. I feel strongly that the Astros are going to come out on top and they're going to shine for us and they're going to show exactly what Houston Strong really means. Uh, we definitely needed some kind of a morale boost over here for Houston. The city needs that, and so we need to be here to cheer on our team. First responders there. It was a very emotional time. We want to thank everyone in the city of Houston that's doing something good for somebody else. And we wear this patch on our jersey the rest of the year to represent you. Stay strong, be strong, and we appreciate every one of you. Go Strohs. There's a swing and a line drive over shortstop. A hit into left field. one nothing Houston. The Astros in many ways represent the spirit of this city. A few years ago, people would not have given them a chance. But now uh, it's a championship team and could be in the World Series. This ball hit deep to left field and gone! The Astros with a doubleheader sweep. People are going to go through some tough times and uh, you know, hopefully put a smile on their face today. This tragedy is not over. It's not going to be over for a long time. But we wanted to be the starting point of what would be the rebuild. The Astros are one out away from a division championship. Whatever happens, however far we go, it's all going to be positive. For the first time in 16 years, the Astros are division champs. Each game that we play is a chance for people to be connected with other people. And that's really what baseball offers. And the fact that we have this extraordinary team and we're on this extraordinary run and we're having a great time. Why would you not want to be here for it? Oh my God, are you kidding me? Like to be able to make my home debut in this situation, I mean, this is what you dream of as a kid. This is a special year and our staff, our team, our community, they know that. Houston Strong is what's in the DNA of everybody here, especially the Houston Astros. We are Houston Strong. That is who we are. We are a can-do city. We can still rebuild, and we can win the World Series all at the same time, because that is what families do.